Michigan took their number 17 ranking on the road to take on Indiana. Here's a look at your two QBs in this contest. First quarter we go. Griffin Oaks, the kick, blocked. Maurice Hurst gets his paw on it, and Lavert Hill picks it up. Takes it back 35 yards. That would lead to a field goal, so it's low-scoring affair early on. It's 6-0. In the second quarter, Michigan's driving the ball. And Karan Higdon scoots to the left and scores. Michigan's up 13-3 at halftime. Early in the third quarter, Morgan Ellison, who really has shown some good moments for Indiana. Here's another good moment. 31 yards. And Indiana's in Michigan territory, which would lead a few plays later to Ellison. Up the middle, basically untouched. It's a close game. Three-point contest. Into the fourth quarter, it's still a three-point contest. And Howard, there goes Higdon. There goes Higdon. Did a great job outrunning the angles as Indiana safeties made bad decisions on the angles trying to make the tackle. 59 yards for the score. So on a third and goal, Indiana, can they answer? Wop Fillier says yes. They're back within three. Now with 20 seconds left in regulation. Here's Peyton Ramsey for Simi Cobb over the middle. Yes, can. Right at the edge of field goal range, which means with two seconds left, a 46-yarder from Griffin Oaks. Oh, it curves back to force overtime. It's 20 all, and Bloomington is up for grabs. Michigan gets the ball first in OT, and Chuck, they gave it to the right guy. Gave it to the right, the right guy, Higdon. Bounces to the outside, and he oh. lost contain oh, on the outside. He that. made it. Okay, so you say lost contain. Show me what that means here. Right, you stay backside, stay patient. The ball will oh. come to you. Oh, he took the cheese. Oh, and he made it back. You can't take the cheese. The cheese is out there. You don't take it. <laughs> don't take it. It's going to get trapped. Should have been a trap. So Indiana's got a chance to answer. They drive down with a first and goal. They give it to Ellison up the middle. No, he loses two yards. Second and goal. They throw Ramsey to the left oh. side. Incomplete pass. Third and goal. Ramsey keeps it up the middle. Give me Fourth and goal. What are you going to do? Not the same rollout. Ramsey rolling out. Oh. Throws off the back foot towards six Wolverines. One of them comes down with it. And Michigan wins in overtime, 27 to 20. The Wolverines ran for 271 yards thanks to Karan Higdon pulling up 200 all by himself. And by the way, Michigan had a school record 16 penalties on the day, but still they got the win. Allison Hayes was there. Big day for you. Take us through that final touchdown in overtime to win it. Man, it was crazy. The play was called. I had hit it for a long one earlier. Um, it kind of got cluttered. I bounced off, knew I had to make something happen, so I had the D lineman and the linebackers over pursue. Knew I had the end zone corner. How are you able to have so much success running the ball today? Trusting the line, trusting the play calling, and just trusting my landmarks. And just following that, sticking to the keys of the game, and it'll take you where you want to go. And how much did Michigan need a win today here? It was very important. Um, we got punched in the face last week. We had a salty taste in our mouth. Knew we had to get it out this week and take it out on Indiana. Crown started the game, and, and uh, you know, we leaned on him heavy. And I thought Chris and Ty both added, added some good plays. Uh, nice to see Kareem Walker uh, you know, get, get a shot and, and produce. Uh, you know, be more carries for him in the future. Um, it was, and we got a long way to go. We're not, uh, we're very humble about this. Um, and we'll move on to a big, big road game next week. But this was a big game for our team. Um, and mistakes were made. But it's, I think it's something we can really grow from.